I've known without a shadow of a doubt The Most High gave me this one To encourage me that I might be charged up But also to encourage other brothers and sisters in the faith Who might be down, who need that encouragement It's really good to see another brother or sister Hold fast to the faith They've been at this walk for some time You know what I'm talking about? Let's get into this Shabbat Jam Hey, be renewed in your mind I'ma tell you the truth It ain't gonna cost you a dime It might cost you some time But you gotta invest in eternal life You invest in everything else That you see with your eyes Read between the lines People say they believe in the Christ But they go walk in the dark When your eyes bring the light They go get mad at me Because I'm speaking it right I'm teaching it right Your pastor ain't preaching it right You Isaiah 45 and 9 What you think he meant by When he said he coming like a thief in the night He pop up, you caught slipping Then it's on no side And repentance from all your wrong, it won't save your life Cause you didn't do it when you had the time Everybody want their 15 minutes of song In the spotlight so they can shine So they can go and live the line Like they said, give me my prime toe I'm talking about prime time Consider what I say I pray and hope it make you think Evaluate the situation Renew to your mind, I'm talking about regeneration Consider what I say I pray and hope it make you think Evaluate the situation Renew to your mind, I'm talking about regeneration Hey, don't conform to this world You got a wife, a son, and a baby girl you Gotta fight with everything you got to keep your mind pure Hit the booth, drop the truth, and give alms to the poor And if you ain't doing good, then it's sin at the door We're rock with Josh, spreading truth like a worldwide tour Going up hill like a 4 by 4 And to my real bruise, I'm praying that you stay the course Reinforce, we endorse, and oh yes, of course We connected to that life source but not like yours Behold the white horse And the one that sat upon him Was faithful and true And righteousness He judge and makes war So if you come to serve the father You better make sure Cause if you jump ship Your corpse gonna be on the sea floor Or the seashore Strong winds that make a rocky boat capsize Strong in the faith that makes rap tie Consider what I say I pray and hope it make you think Evaluate the situation Renew to your mind I'm talking about regeneration Consider what I say, what I say. I pray and hope it make you think, make you think. Evaluate the situation. Renew to your mind. I'm talking about regeneration. Be renewed in the faith and consider what I say. If you're straight from the Father, then I pray you turn away from your sins and repent before it's hell to pay. Nothing but the blood of the Lamb can wash my sins away. Cause He committed unto us the word of reconciliation, which brings about the change of heart of a damaged relationship. When they be saying religion, I'm thinking relationship. Thanks to shy, He restored us to our covenant relationship. Reconciliation means an end of estrangement caused by man, the original sin and the curse of Death that came with the power not to use Christianity to try to enslave us with it. But the Father sent his word and saved us off of that sinking ship. Satan, he weakened them by teaching his wickedness. But the Father delivered us. That's why I stay speaking this. I do this for salvation. I do this for my nation. I do it for the lost souls that need regeneration. Yeah. Consider what I say, what I say. I pray and hope it make you think, make you think. Evaluate the situation. Renew to your mind. I'm talking about regeneration. Consider what I say, what I say. I pray and hope it make you think, make you think. Evaluate the situation. Renew to your mind. I'm talking about regeneration. Hey, it's one of those make you wanna snap and just bounce while you two step and give all praises to the Most High. It's uplifting but too. On a serious though. note though, I really hope that you that you all was encouraged and empowered and uplifted in the faith. I know a lot of us is going through some things, you know what I'm saying? It's like, coming from where we come from, I mean, speaking of myself and my peers, I can't speak for nobody else. Coming up from the low, what I mean by that, coming from the turf with the shootout, the game fights, the valleys, the vibe and all of that, of dry balls, Welcome to the valley of the shadow of death, what the Bible calls it, you know what I'm saying? Learning how to recalibrate your mind, being regenerated, and then you go out into the corporate world and see, they bigger crooks there, they ain't no different. Matter of fact, and then they more you say to yourself that you want to follow the example they just organize with of the Messiah and those that walk up right. You know what I'm saying? And get up out them streets. Sound good to me. And then ain't no future you in them. to the quote unquote Christian church and found out this error is even in that that we was lied to. So then we feel like betrayed and you was just looking heartbroken for the truth. You know, sort of a resentment that how could. How could you lie to me? I've been there. And then we find out and wake up knowledge of self to our heritage to find out that we 
We the people of the Most High. We the people of God. We the Israelites. And then you find out there's drama in that. You know what I'm saying? You got some people that's camp banging. They clicked up, huh? You got where you from? Those who you trying to wake up. You heard it before. You know what I'm saying? Masha or Moshe or Moses. He said it's the best. He said that he faced death more often than not from his own people more than the other nations. Wow. Yeah. And so we see these schisms and you know the backbiting and those things that really hurt when you're trying to ride for the cause to wake up with people and you can see the vision but yet but you keep getting held back. Every individual can only walk for himself and we know as the Most High said himself that this is a very stubborn and rebellious people. Is that what he said? And I mean, nothing hurts more. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me. Then we can build. You putting your trust in. Let me pray for you. The man of God who's supposed to be the pastor lifts you up. Rightfully so. And then come to find out that they've been bamboozled to compromise and don't know it. And I'm not saying that every pastor is like this. I'm a pastor myself. But some a is. pastor just means a shepherd. Bring it out. An elder, someone that watches out for the flock, go before the flock. But with men, err, or people, go over and beyond than what the doctrine of the Most High says. And when you look in the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus and your apocryphy of what they say, chapter 19 and verse 18, go read it says that. the first thing to be accepted of the Most High is to fear the Heavenly Father. They teaching that? And what is the fear of the Most High? They exemplifying that? Well, according to Proverbs I want to know. 8 and 13, to hate evil is the fear of the Most the High. Fear of the most high. And when you look at Ecclesiastes, same chapter in the book of Sirach, bring it out. 19 and 19, it says the knowledge of the commandments of the Most High is the doctrine of life. Of life. Of what? And they that do the things that pleases the Father do what? They shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Talk on that more. That's spoken of in Revelation chapter 22 and verses 14. Bring that out. Peace. Blessed are all they that do his commandments. That they may have the right to the tree of life, precepting perfectly with Sirach 19 and 19, so that they may enter in through the gates of the city. So I understand really well how it feels being the labor in the Most High's vineyard. The people hate him that reproves in the gate. Moshe felt the same way, you know? It's like the Israelites caused him to stumble and slip up. Now watch this. And prevented him, his own people, from going into that promised land. I mean, he got to see it in all that. Sound familiar? But it just shows you how serious this walk is. Now the blessed scripture tells us, those who endure to the end, gotta work out the your same own. should be saved. Salvation. So, you know, being a watchman on my watchtower, I can speak personally from personal experience. There's nothing more that hurts or saddens me or disappoints me than seeing someone you care for that you have tried to disciple and try to help rear up and raise and instruct in holiness. In the words of wisdom and righteousness, that's right. Put all that down and turn on you to just go another way. I mean, as parents, we experience that too. The only thing that we can do is let go. And let the most high. Let the most high. You know what I'm talking about? And it ain't gonna be serious to him, but I ain't gonna sit here and rant until it is. Until I just really is. wanted to just, you know, touch on this topic and bring out a few scriptures and just kind of echo the sentiments that some of my fellow brethren, real brutes, that they might be brutes. feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's a heavy load Time. to carry. That's why we gotta cast our burdens you right on. upon the most high. And he shall sustain you, glory. He should not suffer the righteous to be moved to the highest. So if it's anybody out there that's kind of feeling like, you know, reconsidering, like, man, I don't know about this. If they want to continue to push and work for the Father, man, understand and know that the race is not given to the swift. Never has. So that's why we got to continue to endure. And while we endure, we experience the victory and the abundance of life that's in Christ Yahshua, rejuvenation. As it tells us in Psalms 41, starting at verses 11, by this I know, so you gotta know for yourself, do you? That thou, most high, favorest me, because my enemy doth not triumph over me. See, I can stand on so that. So oftentimes, as history shows, 
It was always the enemy from within. Nine times out of the ten. enemy from within ourselves. Messing it up. The enemy within the congregation. Jealous. So you gotta watch very careful, envious, and carefully the people that you surround or align or associate yourself with. I tell my kids that all the time. And as the Holy Spirit continues to, to guide, you know, and confirm lead. and reaffirm you who's official and who ain't. And make known, we understand that two thirds of Israel will be cut off. All Israel ain't Israel. And that the rebels must be purged up out of Israel. And those that are approved be made manifested. So I just want to encourage my brothers and sisters hoping that somebody might be regenerated and consider what I say. Consider what I say. And be renewed in their mind. mind. You know? Because I am. So let's go ahead and get into these scriptures. I told my op, he sent me the word today. And he started at Romans 15 and 1. And so I want to share that with you, if I may. If I may. So Romans 15 and 1 through verses 2. We that are strong, speaking of in the faith, ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Those who fear or feel worn out and, and tired, you know? And not to please ourselves. Verse 2. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. So we want to encourage our brothers and sisters in the faith. You know, truth transcends everything. And we got to come from up that muck, that miry clay, to be purified, finer than gold. Get all the infirmities and the intoxications out of us, you know? And the only remedy to our ills that's going to fix our problem you really touched on it now is our blessed savior Yasha Hamashiach Amen. verses 3 tells us in Romans 15 and 3 for even Christ Hamashiach Yasha pleased not himself but as it is written the reproaches of them that reproach thee fell on me and that's what's happening to us verse 4 listen carefully for whatsoever things were written aforetime, you listening? Were written for our learning, dear family. Bring it out. That Bring we, out. through patience, understand this. It tells us in Luke 21 and 19 that in your patience, possess ye your souls. Uh -huh. Going back to Romans 15, picking up at the last part of verses 4. That we, through patience, in comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now the power of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one towards another according to Christ Yasha that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify a higher even the Father of our Lord Yasha Hamashiach Man, oh man like I said, this is one of those make you want to bounce to it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, really think and go into deep contemplation as we meditate upon this book of the law. And as we get closer to the coming of our blessed Savior, we see the Most High via the Holy Spirit. It's touching on everything. Tearing down their doctrines and their beliefs. Anything that does not align with the will and the word of the Most High, it gets exposed by the Most High so that His people might be liberated and regenerated and reconciled back unto Him. See, in the world that we live in today, when people hear you honor the Father according to scriptures and uphold the standards of life and the moral code and the ethical code, a way of talking and thinking, and speaking and dressing yourself. You mean actually covering yourself up with clothes? Exactly. They look at that in a way as strange or weird or a sect of rules being imposed and forced like on us. Why don't you show some skin? Which we willingly, speaking of the people, give our desire. No, nah, our sisters is covering over up. to the Father that He might instill and pour into us, His sons and daughters, the desires to want to do the things that are pleasing unto him and has never forced us to do anything but when those that are in the world are those who have not submitted to the will of the most high they unfamiliar they recognize him when his way they begin to see those things this judgment they are easily offended 
getting stirred up by such things and feel as though negatively though by you shedding and bringing and speaking of truth and bringing the light you think you bet you are imposing me your will that's what they think upon them in their mind and by default they can't wait the first thing to see you fall that they equate that with or as they would say to you being in some type of religion snap out of it so family as i mentioned earlier truth Transcends everything Come back to reality We have to know how to operate as the children of life Let's get this cake Understanding that not everybody That's what they think Grows at the same pace Or she gonna pay or there's some Who do not even have Or he gonna pay for this The discernment exercise To discern wretched Good Straight up From evil So how do we bring them to Yasha then? And A lot of people have embraced The customs and the traditions that have been passed down to them Yasha said From their own family If he be lifted up And that's the only thing that they know He will draw all men So they see to him This truth as a direct threat And formality to their existence Or to their happiness Instead of being welcomed Not understanding that And inviting Those particular things that have been Taught to them That they embraced Were incorrect That they learned And that also And it's shocking Someone strategically knew what was not pleasing to the Most High. And what would they do with that? The enemies of the Most High, you got it, knew exactly, get you what they and I was doing to embrace that ideology, which is an idea, don't fall for it, an opinion, an emotion, the gigs up, something outside of the will of the Most High. You hear this wisdom? And what would you call that? Or is this foolishness to you? Well, dear family, that's what you call syncretism. Teach what that means. It simply means exhibits of the blending of two or more religious beliefs or belief system into a new system or the incorporation into a religious tradition of belief. Hence, from unrelated traditions. Christianity. Such adherence is sometimes as a betrayal of their pure truth. The patriarchs knew nothing mm. about that. Abraham didn't know nothing Robert about it. No religion. So in other words, call if we're doing anything Christianity that deviates from the original source, Jacob and the twelve tribes of what the Most High said, didn't know nothing about. Understand? No Christianity that you are. Yasha didn't come. I am. To start now, we are religion. All of us, for us to be, are betraying, called Christians. The very one who meant well for us. And just as we hurt and feel certain emotions, but he did say pain, anger, happiness, grief, be ye, so does the Father. Perfect. And he wants us to return back to him, family, organically, as your father. That's why he sent his word to you in heaven. He don't want us in all these religions. Is perfect. And Sunday church, some might say, in Islam, you barking up the wrong tree. Being a Buddhist, I'ma do this. I ain't hearing what you talking about. A pagan Christian, God knows my heart. Christianity, which is really Antichrist, bring it out. One of the biggest mechanisms that the enemy uses against us. It's a stronghold. Fuck. He don't want us doing those things. And he don't want us being boastful or proud, greedy and obnoxious and, and arrogant and loud and just self-centered, rebellious. He wants us to be doers of the word, holy, meek, temperate. The blessed scripture tells us, blessed is not the hearer of the word, but the what? But the doer of the word. And dear family, don't you know that we need to hear preachers preaching the word unaltered? But what we do, when we see the example, I'm, I'm just speaking about people that get in their feelings and, and just the carnal part of man. We begin to buck back. We begin to have a hatred or a dislike for truth. Again, showing you that we've been bamboozled into believing and accepting and accepting syncretism, which has truth going against within it. The true purpose, the original source, is altered, deviating off the path when the blessed scripture tells us not to add to the word, not to take away from it, you know it, and not to go to the right or to the left, but down the path of the straight and narrow, where the Ruwakadash, 
will lead you and speak to you daily, family, so that you can continue to be regenerated in your mind. Now, we can't leave this thing off without first going to Romans 12, verses 1 and 2, when it tells us about our reasonable, acceptable service. The least thing that we can do be a living sacrifice. And verses 2 tells us, Be ye not conformed to this world, but rather be ye renewed in your mind. And that's what I'm hoping that this might do. Give hope and inspiration. I pray that it blesses somebody's spirit and their soul that when you play this in your house or in your car or wherever you at, when you're just listening to it, that the Holy Spirit just comes upon you and just saturates you that you might be endued with power from on high that you might receive deliverance, that you might receive revelation, that you might receive insight and purpose, dear family. Can you feel what your eye is trying to relate to you in the spirit? I mean, I don't know what other way than I can say it, but just make it plain. In this, I love my peep the way he gave it to you. I really do, I know. And there's nothing that hurts more, speak on it, for a minister, a servant of the Most High God. Now you touching on it than to see a dead congregation mm. of people that continue to refuse the word of the Most High. Well, all he has done to us is have his hand outstretched that he might deliver us. Thank you, Father. Out of our current miseries, bless your holy name. But yet we choose other things and put other props up over the Most High. Forgive us. We put this facade on our have mercy. We have this facade about ourselves that we don't need help. That we don't need encouragement. That no one knows what we're going through when the blessed scripture says, Dear Fairy, the same thing is happening to your dearly beloved brothers and sisters. So this is what I spend my nights and my days meditating upon this. And I thank the Most High that He has put me in the ministry. That He has blessed me with a mantle. I really do. And I pray that the fire of your shire continues to burn in my soul. Increase me so that I might continue to run my race. Stretch me. Season with grace. Uh, and be a blessing unto others as the Most High blesses me. I'm with that. Now, dear family, I know I probably went over time. And if you're still listening, I want to give you this assignment right here, family. Deposit it into you. I wanted to finish this off with Luke 14, chapter 14. You listening? Verses 26 to 35. Let me know it. But if I could just summarize with all that saying quickly, is that Yasha told us. What he say? If any man, or woman for that matter, or anybody, anybody does not first hate themselves, mm. you know, you hearing this? Their father, their mother, brother, sister, uncle, auntie, nieces, nephew, their family. What about grandparents and siblings? Sisters, brethren, everybody, nobody's exempt. Their own lives. Even their own lives? Yes, sir. They cannot be a disciple of Hamashiach. In other words, they can't be a student. You gonna stick around, ain't you? We must deny ourselves. Where you going? And this is what this fight is about. It's a spiritual bout, family. Real talk. And you gotta go 12 rounds, blow for blow. You know, on or up. Sometimes you get tired, you get knocked down, get back in the You room. need to help a hand back up. Come on, get up. You know, sometimes you get winded. You got, you got to be conditioned. Deep breaths. Sometimes people bite off more than they can chew. They get in this thing, I'm prepared. Not to say that it's a thing, but this lifestyle, this walk, you know what I'm talking about. Giving themselves and denying themselves, or do you? Giving themselves to the most high. You feel me? And they're real zealous. But they spend all their juice or all their energy up in the first two or three rounds. Then they gas out. Then they want to tap out. They want to throw the towel in. And the race ain't for the you know? though. And we ain't having that over here. Not at all. We going hard in the faith. All the time. All the way to Zion. Foot on the gas pedal, family. If you dig what I'm saying, you know. Growing in charity. Growing in understanding and wisdom and knowledge of the things that please the most high. Growing by leaps and bounds. So, when we come to build up the kingdom and as the scripture tells us, it's within you and I. We got to make sure that we have the sufficient gas or fuel in the tank, the spiritual with all to run this race into the end. I pray someone's blessed and encouraged and consider what I say this day and always may the most high 
Get on the bridge. Get on the bridge. Salawat. Salah. Armor up. And this has been another anointed, set apart, holy armor music, the original sound recording. And as I said from the beginning, this is one of those that you want to just put your hands up and snap and two step. Let's ride out to the sap to this. Yeah. Bounce to this. Yeah. Yeah. One time for the most high. Ahaya Baha Shem Yashai. Wawa Wakadash. In the holy nation. Consider what I say, what I say. I pray and hope it make you think, make you think. Evaluate the situation. Renew the your mind. I'm talking about regeneration. Consider what I say, what I say. I pray and hope it make you think, make you think. Evaluate the situation. Renew the your mind. I'm talking about regeneration.